Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Ashley and welcome to Ashley's Roses. So it's that time of the year, whether people are planning their trips or you're already traveling, but it comes to that moment when there's lots of people and there's germs and you have a pretty good chance of getting sick. So I have a few tips that I have for you, um, for those who have cystic fibrosis or those who do not, these work either way and it helps you keep your game up and keep going strong. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I highly recommend is that you get bacterial wipes. And if you're going on an airplane, try to get there as fast as you can and wipe down your seat and wipe down anything that you would touch and wipe the buttons, wipe everything. But those with cystic fibrosis, you have an advantage because cystic fibrosis is a disability. So with that said, you are able to get onto the plane earlier with those who have children or um, have a disability. So you have the advantage of getting in early to wipe down your seat, wipe down the buttons and everything. You may get a few looks, but you know, just ignore it because it's better to keep you healthy. And in my experience, I, at first, I was a little, eh, I don't want to do this, but as I've gotten older and have continued to do that, there are people who would watch me and they'd be like, oh, are you not okay with germs and such? And I would say, eh, it's a little, it's a little bad for like a six hour flight or however long it is. And they'd be like, oh, well, my child has a cold, will that affect you? I'm like, it might. And they're like, oh, we'll move over. Because it's one of those planes where you can change, sheet, change seats. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. I mean, people will learn to help you because obviously if you come on early, you have a disability or you have a need to get on early. So don't, don't even think about what people think of you. Just do what you have to do to keep yourself healthy. With that said, there is another little item here. Wear a mask. Now I know what you're thinking. People are gonna stare, people are gonna judge. If you're not thinking, I'm telling myself that because I still struggle with this because, I mean, I do wear a mask, but I'm still like, can people stop staring at me, please? They're going to stare. That's human nature. But would you rather have those boring old blue masks or white masks or whatever you get from hospitals? No, you don't want those. There's such a thing that's called a Vogue mask. This is not promoted, I promise you. But I just had to share it with you because my friend with cystic fibrosis also has one. They're very decorative looking uh, masks that are perfect for traveling. You have a little stylish little, little mask to wear wherever you go. What's nice about this is that there's a little vent for it's easier to breathe through and you're not like suffocating inside your mask and it's quite fashionable. So I highly recommend that you invest in one of these because um, I'm never going back to those boring blue, yellow, white mask things that hospitals give you because why not be fashionable at the same time? If you're thinking, I don't have cystic fibrosis, I don't need to wear that. I still recommend it. I mean, movie stars wear it. Um, Broadway actors and actresses wear it. They do it because they have to keep themselves healthy for their next job, audition, show, whatever. So I highly recommend that you two wear a mask because it keeps you all healthy. Next tip. Now this is for all my fellow CFers out there. All right, listen up. I've had so many experiences with this, and it changes sometimes. So, with us, with cystic fibrosis, we are able to, we have a disability. So we are allowed to go on the plane early to put our medical equipment on or um, just get everything cleaned up that you need to get cleaned up before you get ready to go on the airplane. But, this is a little tricky. Depending on what airline you're going on, you need to really pay attention to this. 
you need to go online but print off the form that allows you to be able to get on the plane early so see if you have to get it there see if it's purchased with your ticket see if you need to get online because um, it's different for all different airlines there's one that I know of where once you're past security you have to go to the surf not surf services um, table and ask for one and show your ticket and have I would also bring documentation to have proof that you have cystic fibrosis or have a disability and then they'll be able to give you that pass um, uh, yeah so look into that see which airline you're going on and see if you need it online see if you get it there or call the airlines if you have questions regarding this it is a huge help and it it definitely saves time and helps with all that next I've already mentioned this before but bring your medical items on the airplane as a carry-on do not I repeat do not put it underneath do not it will get damaged if you have your vest compressor if you have medical supplies it might get damaged down below or it might get lost and that is one thing you do not want you probably heard this from your doctors you probably heard this from friends but do not put it underneath and if there are airline people who are arguing with you saying there's not enough room blah 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 they can make room because you have to tell them <clears throat> that this equipment is this expensive and the airline if it gets damaged you have to pay for it you have to tell the airlines that they will have to pay for it if it gets damaged. So do not cave. I mean, there's so many times that people have argued with me. No, you do not cave because it will get damaged down below. So you make sure that you have a spot on the carry as a carry-on to keep it with you on board. Um, but if they argue, just say, you know what, here's a letter from my doctor and this costs this much. So if it goes underneath, you're paying for it so stand up for yourself but those are all the serious essentials and tips that I have but just have a good time you know bring your iPod bring your iPhone bring your iPad bring a book bring a coloring book bring I don't know bring whatever makes you happy on the airplane or a long drive just make sure you think about yourself first and think about that um, but a couple more tips I have is be sure to drink on drink ginger tea that helps if you're getting sick or, or if you're already sick and um, just try to keep one step ahead of the sickness game so I hope you guys all have safe travels this summer and stay safe and healthy and yeah, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions regarding traveling or where to find different things regarding airlines, um, please feel free to comment them below and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.